Welcome and or welcome back to my channel. I'm Hannah Blackwell and today I am so 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 excited to be bringing you a brand new book tag and that is the Get to Know a Fantasy Romance Reader book tag. I have a bunch of amazing friends posting this tag today which is so so cool. I think there's at least 10 of us which is crazy. Um, and I'm going to have everyone linked down below some amazing booktubers that you need to follow, especially if you like fantasy romance. So check out everyone's videos down below. They will be linked as soon as they're posted. Otherwise, I will definitely have their channels posted so that you can go check out their channels and watch their video when it's up. This is going to be a really fun tag. We're just going to answer some questions about our journey as fantasy romance booktubers, some of our favorites, some of our dislikes books, characters, all of that jazz. We're definitely going to get into the heroes. It's just going to be a lot of fun. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to do so. All of my social media is linked down below in the description, including my Goodreads, Instagram, and Twitter. Don't forget to click the like button, comment down below, and let me know what your answers might be for this. And also let me know what your favorite fantasy romance book is. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into these questions. So the first one is, what book got you into fantasy romance for the first time? And for me, that was the Dark Hunter series by Sherilyn Kenyon. Technically, this is paranormal romance series with vampires and dark hunters. And the dark hunters are kind of like vampires, but not. And they hunt demons and it's just really fun. It's paranormal. It's set in New Orleans and I really, really, really love this series. The first one is Night Pleasures. Definitely go check it out if you haven't already and you like vampires. I think the first like fae, like fantasy romance that I ever read and fell in love with was Akatar. And I think that's probably a lot of people's, but it's true. But I probably wouldn't have gotten to this point without having first read Sherilyn Kenyon's series. Okay, sorry if the lighting changed a little bit. The sun has moved. <laughs> but uh, the next question is, if you could pick a fantasy world to move to for the rest of your life, what world would you move to? And I picked the world from the Mead and Mishaps series. And I will pop up the first book here. It's That Time I Got Drunk and Saved a Demon. And I adored this book so much. I really want to continue on in the series. And I think the world is like classic fantasy, very cozy. There are festivals and mead and wine and cheese. But it's kind of set inspired the, by the American Bayou as well, which I really thought was very cool. So it's like a classic medieval fantasy feel, but in the Bayou of America. And I honestly think that is such a cool idea. So I think that world, I think that I would definitely move there. If you haven't read the series, check it out. I can't wait to continue. The first book is really fun. It's steamy, but cozy at the same time. And it's, it's a good one. The next question is, if you could marry one fantasy romance hero or heroine, who would that be? And I think um, I'm going to do this in two parts. So if I was to marry a hero, that would be Cassian from A Court of Silver Flames. I adore him. He would be the perfect husband. There's no question. Probably my favorite book in the Akatar series. And Cassian is just basically everything. I love him. And I think if I was going to marry a heroine, it would be Nilsa from the Traitor Witch series. Well, I always call it the Traitor Witch series, but it's actually the Deadwood series. But this is a reverse harem or why choose fantasy romance, pirate romance. And our main character is a lunar witch. And I just love her vibes. I love her as a person. I love her strength. I just think that she would be an awesome person to marry. And I adore her. If you haven't checked out the series, what are you doing? Okay, the next question is, if you could be one fantasy creature or magical being, what would it be? My answer is a witch. I am already a witch in my spirituality, but I would love to be a witch in the sense that books kind of like totally exaggerate these powers. And yeah, I just love being a witch and I would be a witch because that's what I would want to be. But in books, they tend to have some pretty bomb ass powers. And next we have, if you could unalive one fantasy romance character, who would you off? And my answer is going to be Seth from the Zodiac Academy. Uh, yeah, he can go. 
get gone. I am done with him. I just don't even care. I just think he sucks so freaking bad. And I'm on book five in the series, okay? So I don't see any redemption for him. I'm done with him. Um, Seth can get gone. The next one is, what fantasy romance character do you believe would be your best friend in real life? Um, again, I think I'm going to go with Nilsa from Trader Witch because for the same reason I would marry her, I just love her personality. I love her. I love like her vibes. I think we would have a bomb ass time. The girl knows how to party. I just really, really, really think that Nilsa would definitely be a best friend of mine. Next is what would be your fantasy weapon of choice and for me like honestly i feel like if i was a witch and i had powers and i would use those really cool powers as my weapons but like a physical weapon um i would probably do throwing daggers just because i think throwing daggers are very cool like have a bunch of throwing daggers hidden all over like inside my clothes and stuff like that and i would poof, you know whatever that is. Um, throwing daggers. Throwing daggers for sure. Okay, the next is, who is the sexiest fantasy romance character of all time? The answer is Reese. The answer is Reese. Reese Sand. The man. I really feel like Reese is just amazing. And the way he's introduced and his power, like when he enters under the mountain and all this stuff, like, Reese Resand is definitely, no questions asked, the sexiest, the sexiest man in fantasy romance. So next, pick a fantasy romance a book to burn. This is going to be different from my answer on our live show when we did this game show for our 24-hour fantasy romance readathon. Um, we did this game, and I'm trying to keep my answers. Some are the same, some are a little bit different, but... This is actually going to be different from that time, and I'm going to say Fighting Destiny, because somehow I had blocked the memory of reading this book from my brain, and recently I was going through my Goodreads, and I was like, oh yeah, I did suffer through that. Fighting Destiny, I don't remember the author. Um, I'll pop it up here. I think I'm getting the name right, but it is a fey and witch romance, but it's filled with... Listen, I've read some problematic books before. But the Fae has basically can force people to do the deed with him. And that's like his powers. And he uses it repeatedly to control the heroine. And I just couldn't get for that. Like, I couldn't get behind it. I hated it. I don't see any need to ever continue with that series. Burn, 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 burn. So next we have, you can pick one fantasy romance book to read for the rest of your life. You will never be able to read another book again. This is the only book. What would you pick? No questions asked. I would definitely pick A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J. Mass, the most recent book in the Akatar series. It's got my man Cassian in it. It's got Nesta, who is just basically fantastic. Also, I would say Best friend Nesta. Nesta also I could see being an in real life best friend of mine because I totally get her. I totally understand her. I totally get where she's coming from. I just think that she would probably be a really good friend of mine if I met her in real life. But also, no question, A Court of Silver Flames would definitely be my... I will read that over and over and over again and never read another book. I might even be happy. Probably not because I really like to read a lot, but that's what I would pick. Okay, next we have, if you could recommend one fantasy romance book to a reader who is new to fantasy romance but wants to try out the genre, what book would you recommend? And I would recommend Sword Heart by T. Kingfisher because it is a fantasy romance, but it's also fantasy and cozy. There's a lot of humor and banter and adventure. It's equal parts character building and plot, and I honestly think it's the perfect segue. If you like historical, or you like um, romantic comedy, or if you like fantasy, you are but you want to delve into fantasy romance, I think this would be a good segue for a lot of different readers. And I adore this book. I gave it five stars. It's one of my favorite books of the year so far. And I definitely, definitely would say try this out if you are brand new to fantasy romance and it would be a really good segue into the genre. Okay, so that is 
it. Those were all the questions. The final one is to tag a friend. So I'm going to say if you are watching this video and you have a YouTube channel or you have Instagram or social media and you want to do this tag, go ahead and do it. I tag you if you want to do this tag. Specifically, I'd like to tag back on the books because I would love to know her answers. She reads a lot of fantasy romance and I bet she'd have some good answers for these. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like button, comment down below. Let me know if you agree, disagree, what's your favorite fantasy romance. If you haven't already subscribed, I would love for you to do so. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post new videos. All of my social media is linked down below in the description, including my Goodreads, Instagram, and Twitter. Until next time, fellow readers, keep reading and living your best life. Why you never said you felt that way And guess you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah.